Today we're going to be mixing drums. We're going to get these drums from this. To this. It's important to group everything together so you can send it all through one channel. In Ableton you can do it by control and clicking any of the channels and then control G. So this is just going to get everything going through the same channel and it's going to help mixing them all together very easy. Next you're going to want to gain stage, compress, and EQ. Now the saturator is just a type of gain staging. You don't have to use a saturator. You can also just use utility or something and boost the gain there. Now what saturator does is it also kind of compresses everything together. So if you just want your drums to sound really loud and explosive, saturator is a good way to do it. Now just bump it up a few dB and then kind of dial back the dry wet and find a good spot. 100% is going to be a lot most of the time but it's kind of contextual. You just kind of want to glue things together a little bit. Now with the glue compressor, there's a preset called full parallel. I almost always just drag and drop that in and use the preset as is. And then the EQ is just going to help trim some of those messy frequencies. For each drum hit, there's certain frequencies you want to watch out for, and we can go over those later. It's going to be very important to also limit the whole channel, and this is just going to help everything not peak, and it's going to help you get everything as loud as it possibly can be. So now that you have everything kind of gain staged and compressed and EQ'd roughly, you can go back and fine tune each one of those hits and get it to sound really nice. Now one place to start is the kick. Um, with kick drums, there's this certain frequency in the low mids that sometimes can get really muddy in a mix. It's really important to keep an eye on that frequency range. More often than not, I find myself pulling down right around the 200 hertz range. But of course, it's to taste. Next would be snare. So snares are going to be sitting somewhere between 200 and all the way up to 10K, really. Just this mid and upper mid range. So it's going to be very important to EQ that as needed. If your snare is not bright enough, just kind of boost the 2K range. And if it's not dark enough, just boost the mids. Also with snares, it's really important to add a little bit of reverb so you can develop a little bit of a spaciousness. Sometimes they're just too dry. It's subtle, but as you compress and mix the track, it's going to pull that reverb out more and more because compression is just kind of bringing the quiet stuff up. I find I only use like less than 10% on my reverbs for my snares unless I'm really trying to fill out a lot of space, then I use more. But reverb can easily kill your mix, so use with discretion. Finally, hi-hats. For me, a lot of the time, hi-hats are just too loud. Um, so one thing I do is side chain the kicks to the hi-hats, so they're just kind of pumping with the drum groove. makes it feel a little more alive. Now hi-hats are definitely going to be from the 1k range up to the 10k range. Um, since they're just such a fine sound, there's not a whole lot of EQing you have to do unless there's some weird frequency or they're really just unique hi-hats. So after you refined each one of the hits, as needed, you can go back to the master chain and do a little bit refining on the whole thing. One thing, one tool I like to use to refine the master chain of the drums is a multi-band compressor. Now in this instance, I just thought the drums were a little too bright and harsh. So 
um, I decided to use this multiband compressor. And a multiband compressor is kind of like an EQ and a compressor. What you can do is compress certain bandwidths of frequency and really fine tune your compression. Now, with hi hats, they can get out of control super easily. So, right here, I'm just kind of slamming them down with a good bit of compression. And then I wanted to boost the snares a little bit here, too. Because I wanted the drums to be a little bit warmer. And then after that, you can EQ if needed. Now at the end of your chain here, your drum chain, you should be kind of just barely punching into the limiter. Just a little bit so you know that you're getting maximum volume. I hope this helped. Thank you.